Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super, super exciting for three reasons. The first being this is our first taste test in the year 2023. Number two is that this is number 15 in my taste test video series. And number three is that I have found some things that I have been wanting since I went vegan and some of these things even before I was vegan. So I'm very, very excited. If you guys don't know how these videos go, I have 14 other ones plus more on my channel already. But basically what I do is I find vegan foods, I try them, and then I rate them on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being worst, 10 being best. And I just can't wait any longer, so let's get right into it. Also, just a little bit of a disclaimer, most of these things I found on clearance, and they're also things that I have accumulated over time. A lot of these things are kind of pricey, so just look for sales, and hopefully you guys can get them and try them. Anyway, let's just get started because I'm so excited. First, we have chocolate chips. These I got at Natural Grocers. They're white chocolate chips. The last chocolate chips I tried were actually the Walmart brand because they're accidentally vegan. I think they discontinued them or something because I haven't found them for months and I'm very upset about it because these were kind of pricey. Got them on sale. Um, but I'm so excited to try these. And then these, this brand Who, has some of my favorite chocolate ever and I've never had their chips before or their chunks. So these I got at Sprouts. I'm very excited. Actually, I'm going to start with these first. I feel like these are what they put in ice cream. They just look like the chocolate chunks that you would see in your ice cream. Okay. These are so good. Their chocolate is so high quality. This is the type of chocolate that I could just sit down and eat this entire bag in one sitting because it's not too sweet. Those are 9.5 or 10. Like, that's everything I want in chocolate. We're off to a good start. Okay, now for the white chocolate chips. These are normally pretty expensive, so they better be good. They're white chocolate chips. They're not anything special. i probably just give them a 7.5 or 8. Like, they're not anything crazy. But I mean, they're vegan white chocolate chips, so. The next item, I'm so, so excited that I got this. This one I didn't get on sale. It's very expensive, but I wanted to treat myself and I've been wanting to try this for so long. And this is organic maple butter. The only ingredient is literally pure organic maple syrup. So I've been dying to try this for so long. So it looks like I'm gonna need to stir because there's liquid on top and then the rest of this looks a little bit thicker. I came prepared. Two hours later. All right. I don't know how much I can show you. Very, very excited for this. That is so good. That has the texture of peanut butter and then obviously the flavor of maple syrup. So it's like you're eating thick maple syrup, which I'm here for because I have a sweet tooth. Nine point five or ten. That is so good. That would be so good on bread. Yum. Okay, next up is probably one of the items I am most excited for, and that is Leah's Better Bites Lil Mo Mini Cupcakes. I've been wanting these ever since I went vegan, and then I just had someone comment that they tried these and they taste just like Hostess donuts. Or no, what? Just like Little Debbie or Hostess cupcakes. So. <sighs> I had to get these. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can already tell that this is so fudgy. I'm so So honestly, they don't really remind me of Little Hostess Donuts, but in my opinion, they're better. Very soft. The chocolate and the cream on the inside are very sweet, and you can just tell that it's good quality, you know? Oh. 
I don't think I get them again though, just because they're kind of pricey, but I still, I'm gonna give them a nine. Those are very good. Okay, next up are protein cookies. I've actually wanted these since before I was vegan, and I didn't know they were vegan. I just saw them around and I was like, ooh, I want one. And then I went vegan and I still haven't had one. So I'm very excited to try all of them. I got all their flavors and I got all of these at Natural Grocers, but I'm pretty sure you can get them at Whole Foods and maybe even Sprouts. I'm gonna start with their oatmeal raisin spice. I used to eat Lenny and Larry's cookies like as my religion. I'm hoping these are good because they have the same amount of protein and they're smaller so I feel like I can actually eat the whole thing without feeling so full, so. It smells really good. It has raisins and I think walnuts. The spice flavor is really good, but honestly, there's something off about it. The more I eat it, the better it gets, but it kind of tasted like, I don't know how to explain it in the beginning. And it still kind of has like this weird aftertaste. It's still pretty good, but I wouldn't get it again. Probably give it a seven out of 10. Next up is the coconut white chip macadamia. <gasps> it's literally the perfect circle. Don't know how they did that. This one's good. Mm. It's soft, sweet. You get a slight hint of coconut. The white chocolate chips are a fun addition. That's an 8.5 or 9. That's really good. Also forgot to mention these are all gluten free too. Okay, next up, double dark chocolate. So my favorite Lenny and Larry's cookie is their double chocolate one, and this one tastes just like that. Mm. Eight point five or nine, and then last but not least, peanut butter chocolate chip. I think this is the softest one so far. I really like that one, especially for a protein cookie. I give that a solid nine. That's good. Okay, next up are more cookies. <laughs> if you saw my alternative baking company, <laughs> company cookie, video where I taste tested all of their cookies. I didn't get these two and these are like the two that you probably should get for a taste test because it's their original chocolate chip and then their oatmeal chocolate chip. Anyway, we're gonna be trying them today and I was extremely impressed with all their cookies so so this one is their oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. Look how gorgeous that is. Looking for the best bite. Probably right there. I love oatmeal cookies. This is so good. That's a 9.5 or 10 out of 10. That is so good. Now for the original, which they call their colossal chocolate chip cookie. Rightly so. I mean, look how big this is. Okay. Wow. That is so much better than I was expecting. Nine point five. 
That one's very, very good. All right, next up, we have a bunch of Made Good products. We're gonna start with two. And actually, I saw these before I was vegan, once again, and I wanted them. And I still haven't tried them, so we're gonna try them today. They are these granola minis. So we have chocolate and strawberry. We're gonna start with the chocolate because I've been wanting these forever. They come in individual packages. That's what they look like. So I thought they were going to be soft, but they're hard. Those are good. I feel like this would be perfect for a hiking snack too. Very good. And I think six come in a bag. Mm, probably give those an 8 out of 10. Now for the strawberry. They pretty much look the same. Crunchier. Ooh. Whoa, that bite literally tasted like Captain Crunch berries. That's good. That one's an 8.5 or 9. Alright, the next made good product are these soft baked mini cookies. They have a few of these. I think they have an original flavor and a snickerdoodle flavor as well. But I wanted to get the red velvet. They also color with beets, which is how, or beet powder, which is how I make my red velvet cookies. And that's my favorite. So I had to try these. I also got these at Natural Grocers. These also come in a little baggy. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, these taste just like mine. And like my red velvet cookies are my favorite things ever. I will say they are more BT flavored and less chocolatey than mine. Oh my gosh, but these are 10 out of 10. Give me all of them. Ten out of ten. All right, next up, more made good. This time we have granola. If you know me, I love granola. So when I saw these, I just snatched them right up, especially because they were on sale. Now I got these at this store called Harmons. So I'm not sure where else you can get them because I haven't seen them anywhere else. I've just seen them at Harmons. So yeah, because these strawberry bites I liked more. We're gonna start with the chocolate, and I have a bowl and some almond milk. They have Rice Krispies in here. I'm excited. Hold on. I need to keep tasting it. So there's honestly not much flavor. The texture is very fun. It's a lot like cereal. But like I said, there's not much flavor, but I still like it. I would probably give them a seven because there's just, I'm not tasting much, but it's still good. Okay, I'm gonna finish this real quick. Okay, now for the strawberry. This one also has Krispies in it. Okay. The strawberry's better because of the freeze-dried strawberries in there. Once again, it's not super sweet, but it kind of reminds me of Special K strawberry cereal. Mmm. So, if you're not looking for a super sweet granola, I would highly recommend these because they have really good texture. They're just not super sweet. So if you don't like super sweet granola, I'd recommend these. But I would rate this one 7.5 or 8. 
All right, next up, I'm keeping my bowl because I have some cereal. So this is also something I've been wanting for so long. So Catalina Crunch, they have a cinnamon toast crunch flavor, and that's the one I've been wanting for a while, but I didn't know they had a maple waffle flavor. So I ended up getting that one instead, and then also their chocolate peanut butter. That way I could get a taste of their chocolate and their peanut butter. After buying them, I realized that they have 11 grams of protein in one serving. That's crazy to me. I also got these on sale too because they're typically really expensive. And I got these at Natural Grocers. But you can also get them at Sprouts and I'm pretty sure Whole Foods too. All right, I'm gonna start with the chocolate peanut butter. These are also keto friendly and gluten free, so that's pretty cool. That's what they look like. More almond milk. Okay. So the taste is a little bit weird. It's a, definitely an artificial peanut butter and chocolate flavor, but the more I kept chewing, the better it got. And it still does have a little bit of a weird aftertaste, but it's very satisfying. <laughs> but I don't think I would go out of my way to get this cereal again. It does make the milk really sweet though. <laughs> for the amount of protein though, I'm giving it an eight. Okay, now for the maple. Ooh, the maple smells really strong, which is a good sign. The maple flavor is definitely there. It's good. This one's a lot better. Once again, not super sweet, but very good, especially for the protein content, 8.5 or 9. Okay, next up is something that I've also been wanting for a while, and it is this Nuts for Cheese. This brand has so many different kinds of vegan cheeses, including blue cheese, which I don't know if I'm ever going to try, but they had this black garlic one I really wanted to try, but they're pretty expensive. Once again, got it on sale. This one is their Smoky Gouda, which Gouda was one of my favorite cheeses before I was vegan, and I wasn't a huge fan of cheese, but I liked Gouda. So I'm really excited to try this. I got this at Natural Grocers, but you can also get it at Sprouts. Wow, this is so cute. That's what it looks like. Honestly, I think I'm just going to cut me a slice and try it that way. Very strong. So you don't need a lot at once. Ooh, I just got the smoky flavor. It was kind of just sour at first. I think it's the top part that has the smoky flavor. That's super good and super soft, so it would be really good on a charcuterie board, especially because you could just take the cracker and like scoop it. That's very good, especially because, like I said, you don't eat a lot, so it could go a long way. That's a 9 or 9.5. That's very good. Next up is also another cheese, and I already opened it because I wanted to get that out of the way. This is Violife's Parmesan that you can grate on things. I've been wanting this for so, so long and I finally got it on sale. So I'm actually gonna try cutting a slice from this one as well. Parmesan was also one of my favorites and the way that that just broke reminded me of Parmesan before I was vegan. Oh my gosh. Stop it. How do they do that? The texture is literally identical to non-vegan Parmesan, from what I remember. That's a 10 out of 10. That's so good. Okay, I'm actually gonna keep this here because next up, I have some vegan tortellini, which this is also something I've been wanting for so, so, so long, but it's very expensive. So once again, this is another treat myself item because I've been wanting it for so long. I got it at Natural Grocers. You can also get it at Sprouts. That's where I first saw it. So I have a few that I kept plain. But then I also made my own vegan white sauce and I put it on the rest. But we're first gonna try one plain. They are so cute. They look like little cowboy hats. That's what the inside looks like. So it's an almond milk ricotta. Mm. 
honestly, those are just pretty good on their own. I mean, you definitely want to eat them with a the sauce, but they have a good texture. The flavor is subtle, but it's there. That's good. Okay. Now for my white sauce. Mmm. That would be really good with a red sauce too. Then I also brought up a grater. That grates so much easier than I thought. That's a 9 out of 10. Highly recommend. Next up are these cutting edge meatballs. I got these on clearance at Sprouts. I actually didn't even know these were a thing until I saw them, but they have artichokes and they're gluten-free. That's pretty awesome. So I baked them in the oven and then I have some vegan ranch if I need it. I don't know if I will. That's what they look like. They smell very good. Those are so good. Wow. They're pretty dry, but I mean they're meatballs, so they're supposed to have a sauce with them. Or, you know, to go on spaghetti. But those are so, so good. They're super soft. Mmm. They're good with the ranch, too. better on their own though if you can find these guys I highly recommend those are 9 or 9.5 okay next up I also didn't know these things existed but they were also in the same spot the same clearance area that I found the meatballs in at sprouts but they are these everything legendary cheeseburgers so this one's just a regular burger but they also have a cheeseburger so they put cheese in it so we're gonna try both of them I'm just gonna eat them plain because I want to get the full effect. And I already made them, so we're going to start with the original first. I can tell this one's the cheese one because it has, like, cheese pieces in it. And they smell very, very good, too. So, <laughs> is this weird that I'm just going to... Mmm! Wow, and I remember seeing, yeah, on the back they say, we didn't set out to clone beef, we set out to create the most incredible delicious plant-based burger made with natural ingredients. That's really cool, and that's really delicious too. This is like very close to a Beyond patty. That's a solid patty. I'd rate it like a nine or a 9.5. Okay, now for the cheese one. I don't know if you can see the cheese in there. Okay. That's good. The cheese flavor isn't too strong. Mmm. I honestly might like this one better, but just by a little bit, because this one has a very subtle sweetness to it, but this one with the cheese, it gives it more of that savory flavor. Mm-hmm. 9.5. Almost a 10, but 9.5. Last but definitely not least is something that I've been wanting. It's probably the thing I've been wanting the longest out of everything, and that is super fruit acai bites. Acai 
is probably one of my most favorite things ever to exist. And when I saw these, even before I was an acai fanatic, I just wanted them. So they're like acai bites covered in chocolate. So I had to get them. They're really expensive, but I finally got them on sale. So I grabbed it so fast, you don't even know. They didn't even see me coming. They come in their own little packets. I don't know what else I was expecting. That is so pretty. That's so good. That's a 9.5 or 10. That's the ideal acai flavor. And then the chocolate on the outside is super sweet. And the chocolate on the outside is super thin, so it's incredibly easy to bite. 9.5 or 10. All right, you guys, that is the end of this taste test. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you find any of these items, and if you tried them out, let me know if you liked them. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.